put your hands together and give a warm welcome to the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Jamie Corbyn! Thank you, Durham! Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn was in Durham on Saturday afternoon where he addressed a crowd of supporters and trade unionists at the 135th Durham Miners Gala. The gala, also known as the Big Meeting, drew crowds from across the country to join in celebrations at Durham's mining heritage. A tradition dating back to 1871, the morning parade saw a multitude of brass bands march alongside banners of former Durham collieries before congregating at the racecourse for a political rally. I'm from Scotland, Yorkshire, Wales. Why, why are you here today? It's to celebrate trade unionism and to get a point that we can and Grenfell never happening again and we're going to be doing a campaign about that and we're wanting people to come along to our fire engine and sign a petition and support us. Jeez, and we've come out today because this is Europe's largest gathering of trade unions. 200 and odd thousand people are out today. All like-minded people, all with one one aim in life, to make everything better for everybody else and ourselves. I'm here from uh, a group called Lesbians Gay Support the Miners, which was formed sort of in 1984 to, for, to, to build support for the gay com the uh, mining community in the gay community in London. Um, so you know we're made famous by the movie Pride, and, uh, and so we come to Durham every year because that's the sort of thing we want to do. We want to continue our ongoing solidarity with the ex-mining communities now. Whilst the last colliery in the area closed in 1994, the gala remains a celebrated point in the Labour calendar, with a list of speakers at this year's event including Durham Mayor Katie Corrigan, North West Durham MP Laura Piddock, and Shadow Secretary of State for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy Rebecca Long-Bailey. And now we've got a Tory government with two leadership contenders set on finishing the work that Thatcher started. Indeed, this was the fifth consecutive year that Corbyn had addressed the gala as he championed the programme of a would-be Labour government to a mostly partisan gathering. Thinking of the great work done by Davy Hopper and Davy Guy in developing this festival. It will be a Labour government that will invest in our future of good quality, high-skilled industrial jobs. And our NHS is not for sale. In his speech, the Labour leader also looked to address accusations of anti-Semitism that have been directed at the party, which were reignited last week following a BBC Panorama expose. Oh. We will not allow or tolerate in any shape or form whatsoever anti-Semitism, Islamophobia or racism anywhere in our party or our movement or our society. You've seen the most incredible level of media hysteria directed at the Labour movement and the Labour Party. But whilst those words look to quell the sense of crisis in the party, Prior comments from Corbyn Ally and General Secretary of Unite the Union, Len McCluskey, only went to highlight the deep divisions that currently run through the party. So I have a simple message for Tom Watson and his pals in the media. A simple message to Tom and his pals. You should fucking well be ashamed of yourself. As Corbyn rounded off his speech with a triumphant rallying cry, his supporters returned that familiar theme tune to sound their approval at what they had heard. Keep your eyes on the prize. The prize of getting rid of this government. The prize of a Labour government dedicated to the redistribution of power and wealth in our society. Durham, thank you. But whilst Corbyn and his supporters will no doubt have enjoyed their day out in the North East, whether they'll be singing, if and when a general election is called, remains an unknown. This is Alex Cook reporting for TU Extra at the Durham Miners Gala.